I feel the breath of history upon my neck as I pull the kidskin gloves over my elbow. Mended in tears across the centuries, the rows of buttons that run along each wrist remind me of all the tiny dance cards from reserving dances that once swung there, attached by tiny silken cords. Fashion evokes a tongue on the heart from all the invisible silken cords that connect us to the history that fashion evokes. A, a tug on the heart from all the invisible cords that connect us to the history of that infinite yearning for the artistry of ideas. Fashion ignites the flame of eccentricity in which we seek ourselves. Diagnosed with a brain tumor, I armed myself with the tiaras of my ancestors, my grandmother's quizzing glasses, hand-painted conversation screens, and lip stain the color of pigeon blood rubies. My life stretched on canvases of bespoke ball gowns, handed down the generations and splashed with flaming jewels, illuminating the sapphires and pearls glazed in the diamond tears of regret. All sent floating down the Thames River, a cotillion of suffering transfigured by the visual beauty of poetry. Fashion is living outside the safety of conformity. It is saying no to fitting in, that there's no truth in fashion if we don't accept the world that is going to mock the way we dress. I wear my scars and fears as battle livery, sartorial salutes to the endless Mayfair balls that defined my history and the sleepless nights of pain that define me now as I look into the prism of past glories, huddled with tailors on Savile Row in the eternal quest for a magical bespoke gown, the feather-plumed headpiece pinned with an exquisite gold button, moulded in 1662 to celebrate the restoration marriage of our cross-dressing lesbian Queen Catherine of Braganza to King Charles II. Fashion is recognizing that my ball gown requires a 17th century sedan chair and a bespoke walking cane and a footman in livery to complete the look. Fashion is the quotidian rendered glorious by time and art. It is that sharp tug on my heart which links me to the truth of pain. Fashion medicates, transforming my sickbed into a phantasmagoria of brightly colored crocodile Hermes Birkins that once adorned my mother's arms. The hand-stitched embroidery on my grandmother's nightgown symbolizes the transmutation of the pain into a thirst for magnificence. Fashion is the rich purple bandage wrapped around the crumbling Mayfair castle of my life. My past dashing across the polo fields and croquet lawns clambering over the rooftops of Mayfair with my ancestral opera glasses, searching the streets where Beau Brummel, Countess Lovelace, Oscar Wilde once lived and loved and lost. Now memories to harvest, for the past is the holy grail of the now, every moment of fragile, precious, exquisite tapestry that only becomes priceless as it begins to dissolve in time. I wear a pair of handcrafted shoes that fit my soul like a dandesette's glove, reminding me that fashion is armor. Fashion is dangerous. It is memories of our ancestors' memories swirling under the chandelier ballrooms in mirrored walled palaces in a ball gown the color of claret. 
it is fleeing Cromwell's genocide. Latter day cavalier, we are going to party like it's 1660, for fashion is the quotidian rendered glorious by time. We are all latter day cavaliers and dandies riding into the battle to sustain the world in our lace trimmed scarlet capes and billowing parachute gowns snipped from the fallen airmen that plummeted from skies above. We may die tomorrow, but in this moment, we have the visual poetry of handcrafted dreams wearing neck shrines created from a stream of resplendent possibilities as we celebrate the power of fashion to transform and toast the infinite ability of art and beauty to transfigure.